Why am I bad at opening these? Oh, ow, I sit myself in the face on the mask. Have I ever looked sexier? Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to my car, and yes, it's dark outside. We've had a weird day, actually. I have been wanting to go run some errands all week, but it has been snowing like crazy all week, and I didn't want to go out in the traffic. And then today, like the only day I could go and the weather was okay, spent all morning getting, um, a little upgrade in my kitchen. So if you want to check that out right now, before we get to the shopping, I'll put that right here. I need to clean the kitchen like whoa. And that's because we just did another home project and I'll show you in just a second. But because of the project, there is dust everywhere. It is drywall dust. So let me show you the project and the mess and then we have got to clean this. This is the project we have put in recessed LED lights in the entire kitchen. It is incredibly bright in here. You probably can't even tell how much brighter it is on the camera, but in person it is shocking. So I do have two holes here because I had to order a new case of lights because I didn't have enough. I have holes and the wires run. When they show up, Dave can just put them in and it's no big deal. And we did have to change the layout of the lights based on the pendants that were here before. The old ones that were here and here were patched and retextured so the kind of off color is just the texture. And I once they dry tomorrow, I'm gonna come in and repaint to match the current ceiling color. And you won't even know that those were there. The only question now is, what do I do with that? Do I take these lights and carry them all the way across? I'm not sure. But what I know for sure is you can't even see the dirt, but I promise you. If I come down here, you see all that dust? On my bar stools down here, like they're under this, but look, look at all of this drywall dust that got everywhere. Oh, we need to get some rags, some cleaning products, a broom, the mop, <laughs> and we have got to clean all of this dust off. But what do you think of my lights? I'm very happy with the lights. I feel like the kitchen is so bright right now. This project pretty much took all day. Ended up finishing being done at about 2 p.m. and then I had to clean up. Then Dave came home and I'm trying to get dinner for the kids and so I didn't end up leaving to do my shop with me video for you guys until basically 4.30 or five o'clock, probably five o'clock. I mean, just like normal, any home project takes three times as long as you think it will and makes quadruple the mess. Am I right or am I right? But I'm really happy to have those lights in. I'm really excited about it. It's just, I am always shocked when you cut into drywall the amount of mess it creates. So I knew I wouldn't be able to leave without cleaning it all up and having a clean kitchen ready to prep dinner for everybody. I don't know about you, but I cannot, like I cannot cook in a dirty kitchen, it drives me crazy. So it's funny, like I'll clean the kitchen and it'll be perfect, and then I'm like, hey, this is a nice clean kitchen ready for cooking, which then makes another mess. Look at all that dust on the floor. That was the third sweeping I had done on that floor, and then I came across and mopped, and later that night I had to mop a second time. Okay, so I've basically been in my house all day working on projects, cleaning up after the projects. It is now dinner time, my family is eating dinner, and I gotta go run these errands before the stores close. Something I have noticed in 2020 is that a lot of the stores close a lot earlier than they used to. A couple of last minute Christmas presents that I wanna get, so I'm gonna bring you with me, come with me, as we do a little bit of a drive and do some like last minute Christmas shopping. So before we get driving on this long haul, I did wanna pick out something to listen to on my phone for the drive. I live pretty far away from most of the shopping. It's kind of a lot of time in the car. It can be like an hour to two hours in the car of just driving. So I like to increase my knowledge, understanding, my cultural awareness. You uncultured swine. By listening to podcasts and audiobooks. And thanks to Audible, I can do that really, really easily. And this video is sponsored by Audible. Before I tell you what Audible is doing right now that I am loving and what books I would recommend for you, I gotta tell you about their holiday deal because right now you are getting the best offer of the entire year. They are offering you Audible Plus for a mere $4.95 a month for the first six months. That is an amazing deal. And you can use that to download and stream thousands of podcasts, audiobooks, all included in the Audible Plus plan. To get this awesome deal, you just visit audible.com slash frugalfitmom or text frugalfitmom to 500, 500. 
With Audible Plus, you can get full access to the Plus catalog, which is filled with thousands and thousands of select originals, audiobooks, and podcasts, including ad-free versions of popular shows, as well as exclusive series. It is really easy to find just the right listen, whether it's comedy, romance, suspense, science fiction, fitness, and with everything you wanna to listen to in one app, Audible Plus can be your playlist for life. To use your membership, all you need to do is download the Audible app, which is totally free and can be installed on all smartphones and tablets. And then you can listen across devices, like using Alexa-enabled devices without losing your spot. And what kind of book lover would I be if I didn't give you some recommendations? So listen up. We've actually been listening to Fable Haven in the car with the kids. It is a really, really fun kids series. It's kind of a younger age, maybe 10, 11, 12, that age, but lots of adventure there. My 13 year old adores the Trials of Apollo series. So if you have a little bit older teenager, that could be really fun if you're into the Percy Jackson thing. While I know The Little Fires Air Everywhere is a show the book is always better, my friends. And in this case, the audiobook is even better because you can do other things like wash your dishes and fold your clothes while you listen to an awesome story. One of my favorite authors is Kristen Hanna. I have read, I think, every single one of her books. If you want a good cry, a love story, tragedy, get a box of tissues and try out any one of Kristen Hanna's books. They are all spectacular. And then last but definitely not least, I have read every single one of Sue Grafton's novels. The A is for Alibi, B is for Burglar, and I think this is such a great deal because you can get three books, three audiobooks for one credit instead of one book for one credit. So I think this is a great one. They have almost all of them out right now. I think Y is the last one, so we're waiting on book 26. And then that story unfortunately will be over. I have come to adore the detective Kinsey in these books and I think you'll like him too. If you wanna try out Audible Plus and get this amazing holiday deal for a mere $4.95 a month, that's less than $5 a month for the first six months, just go to audible.com slash frugalfitmom or you can just text frugalfitmom to 500-500 and you can get that deal for yourself or a last minute Christmas present. I have been loving it, my family has been loving it and I am here at the post office, so let's go check that box. I get asked sometimes if I have some address for people to mail things, and I do indeed. It is in the description box of every single video. So if you wanna go and check out my PO box address there, you are more than welcome to send something. Although it is not required, you don't have to do it at all. Once I was done picking up my PO box stuff, I decided to go get gas from my local Sam's Club. My Sam's Club has the cheapest gas by at least 20 cents compared to everybody else, including Costco. 20 to 30 cents cheaper than everywhere else. So I would like to know in your area, how much does gas cost right now? Oh my gosh, it's cold. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I gotta see what the, what the temperature is here. Hold up. Well, dang, it feels colder than my, my car says it's 32 outside, but it's windy. So it feels like colder than that. I'm looking at my phone. I'm looking at the weather because the weather app will tell me feels like, ha, feels like 20. That's what I thought. Oh my gosh, I think I need to zip this up like, whoa, and put my hood on. Oh my gosh, you know what I need to do? Yes! <laughs> Ear warmers for the win. Yes, okay. Oh, that's gonna make a difference. Um, I wrote down a list. Wrong, it's a list. Of all the places we were gonna go to. Oh no, we're checking it twice. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, it says masks get caught on my. Done that. Gas, good. We have to go to the UPS store to drop this off for the Amazon return. So let's do that next because they close in like 30 minutes. Off we go. Let me ask you a question. Have you done Amazon returns at your UPS store or maybe Kohl's does it too? Where you just show them the QR code and you don't have to print a return label or anything and you just like give it to them? and they throw in the boxes and it back. It is very cool. The only thing that's inconvenient is that I have to drive this far to do it. But since tonight I knew I was coming anyway, I thought it would be okay. And also, let me ask you this question. When I'm looking at this line from the parking lot, <laughs> there's a lot of people in there with large packages to mail. I'm assuming for Christmas. This is a legitimate question. I'm not trying to be snarky. Why are these people just not buying the items online and shipping them to the recipient's location? That is my question. Um, because it seems a lot easier and probably cheaper than standing in this line with 
five boxes stacked up to here and doing it that way. Curious minds want to know. I feel like the color really brings out my eyes, don't you think? Look where we are. You guys are coming inside with me and we are going to shop in Hobby Lobby. I am so excited. I don't think I have been here. I don't think I've been here for a year. Last Christmas, that was the last time I was at Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, I am loving this bowl for like a new fruit bowl in my house. And what are we, 40% off of whatever it is. So you wanna guess how much this bowl is? This is very large. Okay, hold up. $29.99 makes this bowl $17. That is not bad. They have mugs if you're into that kind of thing. I'm not really a mug person. And they have these fun measuring cup guys. That's cool for about six bucks. I like that. I love this kind of stuff, but here's my problem is I don't know what to do with it once it's at my house. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, these are cool. I like these bins. I take them to my house and then what? What do they do? Where do they go? This is why I need help. I need someone to come to my house and help me because I don't know what to do with these. Those I don't like, but I do like these little crate things. I just don't know what they do with your house. Okay, if you were in the market for a very large chalkboard, I like this one. I think I like this one better. I don't like the pink though. I'm not so much a pink girl, but I like that. It's about $40, so it feels a little bit like a lot, but like this, what do, what do you do with this? What is it? I don't know. Okay, I think I need to actually go to the section I came in to look at, which is picture frames. That is a, going to be a gift. If anyone in my family is watching this right now, turn the video off because I don't want to ruin it and I want to tell you who it's for. But before I go look at the frames, we've got to come down this aisle and look at these pictures. I love pictures of the beach. Kind of looking for sharks because Tyler loves sharks. I did find one on Etsy, but it's not gonna be here till after Christmas because it's shipping from Australia. I kind of love this adventure sign. Like this could go in my boys room, right? Okay, so according to this, this would be $14. I'm looking for two things. I'm looking for something like this. I've been looking for a shadow box for a long time. That one or this one, I don't know. For Dave's office because he cheered in college. So he has some college uniforms and I wanted to be able to put them in something like this. So they're not just in a box. So he can have them out and display them in his office. And then I've never put his diplomas in something like this, but he has two. He has a bachelor's and a master's and I wanted one that had a, a double. And I can't find any that have a double. They're all singles. Disappointed in that, let's check the other aisles maybe they have something in a different aisle dang these things are a lot this is 90 dollars. well my biggest issue is that it's some scratches on it can you see that and then there's a big scratch over on this side so i think i would want one that's not scratched so i think i'm gonna pass on this today next up andrew wants a lamp for his bedroom like for his side of the bed on their little nightstand thing so i don't think i'm gonna get a lamp here but the lamps are right here thinking something more masculine like like blue right or like stripes blue stripes or something like that. I have never bought a lamp before, so I don't really know pros and cons. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about lamps, so help me. But I feel like like this side is more masculine and this side is like more feminine. What do you like as far as lamps go? He'd probably want a small one, right? Like this, this would probably be too big. So I keep, I keep coming back over here, you know, something little or like this one's very cool but are you worried about a 13 year old breaking that? Because I am. Ross is actually a really good place for journals. They have a ton of different kinds. They're usually very inexpensive and actually my handwritten cookbook that I have at my house was just a blank journal that I picked up from Ross, just like this. Like here's a sketchbook. So I got Tyler some art stuff for Christmas. So maybe something like that would be really nice. $2.99, so cheap. Look, I was just looking for one of these for my spice cabinet reorganization. And at $5.99, this is way cheaper than the one I got from Walmart. Look, that's what I wanted. Like a plastic one, like this. <gasps> it's $3, this is so cheap. That's kind of awesome. I'm thinking about switching out the one I have with this one, because this is so cheap and it's flat so the spices won't fall off. Ooh, I think I'm gonna get this, you guys. Something I really love about here are the specialty ingredients for not too much money. I got a couple of my specialty spices here and they're really delicious. Like, look, people are talking about these all the time, right? 
$2.50. That feels like a good deal to me. What do you think? Cinnamon, Himalayan salt. This looks like something I would buy. Everything and more. And then of course you have all, your, all of your olive oils, avocado oils, everything on a bagel with a twist. I think candles can be a great find at Ross. You just have to be willing to smell some gross ones. Found the lamp section. This one kind of looks like the lamp from the Brave Little Toaster, don't you think? I'm just trying to understand, trying to figure out, you know, exactly what it all means. It feels like quite a letdown when you go shopping to get some specific items and then you just kind of can't find what you're looking for. So I had planned on showing you this big fun haul and I ended up with two things. <laughs> so here's my haul for you. Wooden flat shelf made by Farberware for my spices. So I'm gonna switch out that wire one for this one. I think this one's gonna be better. I've been needing new, just like kitchen rags for a long time. So they had this five pack for right at $5. They're kind of big. So I'm gonna throw away all the old stained ones and we're gonna switch them out with these. But I did go to my PO box and I got quite the stack of items. So I wanted to show a couple of these to you and read some of your Christmas cards real quick in lieu of an actual haul. <laughs> Hope you're, you and your family have a wonderful Christmas. Thanks for all the laughs. Merry Christmas. Uh, Liz Falk, I hope I'm saying that right. Or as my kids would call me, your BFF. <laughs> so she sent a t-shirt. We whisk you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> I think it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. Tear at perforation. I am trying. This is from Rachel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dave, Dave, they're onion chopping goggles. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my gosh. Have I ever looked sexier? <laughs> yes. Yes? No! <laughs> These are epic. They're very cool. Look, they're all foamy around the eyes so the onion juices don't get in. Wait, the question is, can I wear them too? <laughs> you almost look better than I do. What up, baby? Oh my god. I'm gonna wear these the rest of the time. You should. What else are you opening? You <gasps> oh, is that addressed to me? Oh my gosh, it is to Dave. Sherry Bosoms. Enjoy from one Canadian to almost another. Uh, I will not be partaking of these, but I think that is hilarious. You got something in the mail. That is really funny. Like, that just made my day. That's well, all I got. From the Hemmings. <laughs> I appreciate that. That is freaking awesome. Okay, this one is from Felicia. I was totally planning on making Christmas cards and then like sending them to all the people that sent me one. And I didn't do that. There you go. There's the card. Look at the cute, cute. This one's from Julie. Oh, a letter, yay. <gasps> Okay, well, I'm not gonna read it to you guys because it's private, you know. I love the letters, you guys send the best. She also wrote you a nice letter. And there's a nice letter too, which I won't share, but pretty tree, I love it. Are you keeping those goggles on the whole time? I told you I would. Cute, it's so teeny, look how small that is. Jackie, this card is so dang funny. It says, wishing you a fruitcake-less, hassle-free, shopping all done, no tacky sweaters, parties all fun, cookies all yummy, presents just right, warm, happy Christmas, it's merry and bright. I think the, the fruitcake-less, Got me. This one's from Melissa in Colorado. Merry and Christmas, true. thank you for your videos and inspiration on being frugal. I got you. Andrea, thank you so much for this card. That is so pretty. Yeah, it, this is from North Dakota. It's Angela and Chuck. It kind of looks like North Dakota, doesn't it? Look at that. That is beautiful and it like comes like this. Oh, and it's glittery. Oh, know, it's all over my pants. <laughs> Now you're glittery. This is from Elizabeth in Florida. Cute, oh my gosh. They're family pictures. From Alexis. Does she make these? She um, must make these. I've included a few chopstick holders and keychains that I made. Hope you like oh, it. Man. They're so great, oh my gosh. We have a dog paw, how cute. Is that Stitch? Lilo and Stitch? It's a cute little house with a little family. So there's a chapstick holder. It's like iridescent. What does that say? It's backwards. Hope. Wait. Oh my gosh, it's a Mickey. It's a Mickey chapstick holder. That is so cute. These are amazing. Very cool. Alexis, if you have a shop or something where you make these, you need to tell me what it, like on Etsy or something, tell me what it is because I bet people would buy these. Sometimes the shopping just doesn't work out the way that you hoped it would. But you know what did not disappoint today? Audible by keeping me company on the drive. So if you want to try out Audible for $4.95 a month for the first six months and you can get that deal or you can give it to someone else for a gift. Last minute Christmas gift. We've given away those as gifts at work and they're great. They are great. Can you believe that price? $4.95? That's fantastic. It is fantastic. That's a deal. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks Audible for sponsoring today's video. 
and I'll see you tomorrow.